Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the SAN uh, module 2 and in this video we have the following topics which we will be covering. The first topic is uh, rate. These are the most important questions from the exam point of view. If you study this much, this will be sufficient for you uh, for this module. So with, without wasting any time, let's get started and uh, before starting make sure the like button subscribe to my channel. So the first question which is the rate and the techniques of uh, techniques and the level. So basically what is rate? That's our first question. Okay. Rate is nothing but red, a redundant array of inexpensive expensive disks okay so you have some data which you need to store okay so for storing the data you'll be using some disks which are inexpensive and you'll be having redundant arrays means the data which is storing it is in optimized fashion okay so that is called as rate okay so what are the implementation methods of rate we have two implementation methods hardware rate and software rate hardware rate by the name itself you can understand you'll be getting something like a hardware which will be inserting inside the system so controller card rate is a host based hardware in software we will be having the software rate that is uh, you to provide software solutions like you'll be getting some software which will be storing the data okay so these two are the different implementation methods of rate and uh, what are the rate techniques to store the data you can use three rate techniques stripping mirroring and parity okay i'll be telling you in short what is stripping stripping by the name itself you can understand it is like uh, you'll be having some stripes and um, it will be spread across all the devices okay all the drives it will be spread like stripes okay and mirroring means it will be having a duplicate okay this duplicate is this one okay that is called as mirroring and parity means you'll be having one um, one of the stripe uh, reserved as parity disk okay this is used to uh, method is used to stripe the data from the disk to uh, drive failure without the cost of mirroring okay so it protects the uh, failure of the data uh, if you use the parity disk okay so th those are the three uh, different types of techniques which are um, present in the RAID okay and also the last one which is the parity one it uses the XOR properties okay XOR operation what does XOR means exclusive power okay so if there are four, uh, if there are five in total, four will be the normal ones and one will be the parity disk. Okay. Next we have the important question, which is the levels of rate. Okay. It can be the selection will be based on application performance, data availability and cost and the rate level are defined on the stripping, mirroring or the parity uh, techniques. Okay. And they, these are the total uh, six levels of rate. In rate zero, we have strip set with no fault tolerance. In rate one, we have mirroring and nested rate is also there. In uh, RAID 3, we have parallel access and dedicated parity disk. These two has the dedicated parity disk along with parallel and independent access. 5 and 6 are nothing but independent disk are there, but we have distributed parity and here we have dual distributed parity. So each another level is better than the previous one. Okay. So what is the speciality of RAID 0? It is using the data, stri uh, data striping technique. Okay. This is called as data striping. One is coming and many are outputting here. Okay. That is what is called RAID 0. In RAID 1, we'll be using the mirroring technique. So we have to draw a diagram like this. This is the mirror set and RAID. Um, Okay, there is a nested rate. Nested rate means either it will be first uh, stripping, then mirroring, or it will be first mirroring, then stripping. Okay, so these two are the different kinds of uh, nested rates. It is called as 1 plus 0, and this is called as 0 plus 1. And we have the rate 3, which is the uh, high performance and uses parity for improved uh, perf uh, fault tolerance. Okay, basically it uses the parity here, parity disk. And rate for implementation, it is also used for high performance. It is better than the previous one. Unlike the rate three, data uh, disk rate four can be accessed independently. In the previous one, we cannot access it independently. Here, we can access it independently. Rate five is a versatile rate implementation. Versatile means what? Many things. Okay, it can do many things at a time. And the difference between rate four and rate five is the parity location. In rate four, parity is written to a, de a dedicated drive. In uh, rate five, it will be written to all the drives. Okay, you cannot see a special uh, rarity bit here but it will be present in all of these pipes okay and finally we have the rate 6 rate 6 includes a second parity element in case the first parity element fails you will be having a duplicate which is a second uh, parity element and it is better than the previous one illustration of this is given you can go through it okay so for all of this mostly it's same only just you need to keep some things in mind what are the differences next you have rate impact on this performance whenever you are choosing which rate technique you want you'll be um, means the rate technique chosen will be directly implement uh, directly affect the this performance there are different kinds of write penalty based on how many of these stripes are there so uh, the write penalty is two for one for uh, rate five it is a, a bit more like five days it, uh, if it has three read operation three write operation three plus three is six in rate six there will be write penalty as six if one mistake happens how many discs are affected that is what is called penalty okay 
then we have the second uh, important question which is the intelligent storage system what is intelligent storage system it is a storage system which is intelligent okay so it is a feature rich raid arrays it is also raid arrays but it will be feature rich it will be having many optimized features highly optimized features and it is used for a, a storing a large amount of memory for a quick um, retrieval which is called as cache it has four key components front end back end along with cache and physical disks okay front end we all know what it is it will be having ports and nodes through which will be sending the data through the cache first it will be stored here and from the back end it will be stored in the physical devices okay and two operations can be performed the read and the write operation so uh, that also comes under the intelligent storage system itself if they ask you uh, explain the read and write operations of the uh, uh, intelligent storage system you have to do the following okay so uh, here we have the front end it has the front end ports and the front end controllers port is used for the connection and controller is used for controlling the data or from where it is going to where that uh, handling of the data cache we all know what it is and the structure of cache there are three things we have the page data store and the tag ram and these are all connected inside a disk okay and we have the two things which is read and write operation so host issues a read request first this is the host okay like any user it issues a read request and it sends to the cache if the data is present in the cache it will be sent from the data the data is read or else it will be fetched from the physical disks okay this is called as read uh, hit read hit means it is present in cache if it's not present in cache it has to be read from the physical device then stored into the cache then uh, sent back to the host in the write operations also we have whatever we need to write will be first sending it from the host to, to, to the cache and from the cache it will be written back to the storage and we have two types of write write back cache write back cache means first it will be written in the storage that means first uh, it will be written here then it will be stored in cache write through cache means first it will be stored in cache then it will be written here okay these are the two types write back and write through cache these are the uh, things which you have to write for the following uh, question if they ask you about the read and write operations in the cache okay and the cache implementation can be two types dedicated cache or global cache dedicated cache means separate sets of memory will be the global cache means both read and write will be happening on a same memory okay and we have cache management we have the two algorithms which is least recently used and the most recently used if the we use least recently used whatever is the least recently used data that will be overwritten with the new data and most recently used is the vice versa okay <clears throat> cache data protection to protect the data we will be using mirroring or vaulting mirroring we already know what it is it means is replicating it into different places and what is vaulting vaulting the data means in case of data loss due to power failure the uh, backup will be happening from the cache vaulting storage vendors use a set of physical devices to dump the contents of cache during your power failure when there is a power failure all the data which is in your system that will be written to a uh, another cache okay another uh, system that is what is called cache vaulting all the data is dumped to the another system where the power failure did not happen okay back end we all know what is back end it will be having ports and controllers physical disks are nothing but it stores the data persistently types of intelligent storage system high end storage system mid range uh, storage system based on the application okay so this is the high end uh, storage system active active will be there so it will be very fast and will be used for the quick transactions and for the mid range we have the active passive here we will be having active but here we will be having passive when quick data is needed we can use this one or else we can use passive one okay lastly we have the fiber channel uh, storage network let's cut this one so fc san what is fc san what are the components of fc san working of fc san all we will be discussing now okay so uh, it is a high speed dedicated network of servers and the shared storage it is a high speed network of servers and store uh, shared storage fc san is there ip san is there so what are the components of uh, fc san it's a just a network okay it will be transferring the data so in fiber channel it is a high speed network technology that runs on high speed fiber optical cables what are the components node ports in which through which the data goes cabling connectors cabling is the cable connectors is the connectors interconnecting devices such as fc switches or hubs which interconnect many of the fc devices and sand management software where all the data is stored okay so this is the node ports and the links and the cabling can be of two types multi mode uh, fiber or single mode fiber based on how many light rays are passing and the light rays consist of data okay and we have the connectors as well standard and um lucent connector and the uh, straight tip connector okay these are three types of connectors we will be using also interconnected devices are hubs switches and directors three are the different users based on the uh, situation we'll be using them and san management software there all the data will be stored and um, that will be handled okay so basically this is all what is in, in the module make sure you know the, uh, those three topics which i mentioned in the note uh, pad very well that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more just like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one